everyone so i want to share with you guys what i was playing around with in my last two hobby lobby hauls i purchased this ribbon right here and i was looking at it and i was talking to my mother and i told her that i wish that it came in blue and then she was like well why don't you just paint it and i was like well how am i gonna paint it she's like i don't know you'll figure it out you have so much stuff so i did figure it out so i had bought a so this i did buy on clearance and then i had bought a bunch of these on clearance from hobby lobby and i decided to go ahead and paint them and it actually worked out pretty well so i'm going to share with you guys here what i made so this is one that is not dyed and then this one is this orange one right here and then let's see this one goes to this one right here and then this is this one but you see on this one like it kind of went down into the green so i didn't really like that much because it changed the color of the green so i put too much alcohol ink on that so that's the coral one and then this is the purple one now hobby lobby does sell this in purple already so i didn't really need to paint it purple but just because i had the alcohol ink i wanted to go ahead and just play with it and let's see this one goes to this one i really like how that yellow turned out because it's already yellow but it made it like a darker yellow and then this is that yellow right there so i'm just going to share with you guys what i did I just took the ribbon right here. Now, I always cut these up and use it for embellishments as like a little accent piece, you know. And I did a... Oh, I should have got better scissors. And I did do a video with the hearts from Dollar Tree and the little rhinestones. And I did use some of this stuff for that. So, going to just cut off a couple little flowers here. Definitely have sharper, better scissors than these dull ones that I have right here. And then I'm just going to do a new color. So I started putting them in this tin that I got from Ikea. So all of what I did was I went ahead and I opened it up. So here's the color here. And I just lightly dabbed the ink on. I didn't even need a squeeze. I just kind of like dab, dab, dabbed. And there we go. So then I just went ahead and I changed the color of the little yellow flowers. And since I said I wanted blue ones, let's do some blue ones. So here's this color right here. And again, we're just going to dab it on. Not even squeezing the bottle. I'm just tapping it. Oh, yeah. See, I like the blue. You can just add a little bit more dye if you wanted to to make it even darker. So you see how it changed it to even darker blue? So just kind of playing around with it. Like I said, I do not squeeze these bottles. I just tap it on. Ooh, I love me some watermelon. Let's try some watermelon. So here we go. Oops, that one came out faster than I expected. Oh yeah, I like that color too. So yeah, if you have some Tim Holtz alcohol inks and you bought this ribbon and you want to change it up the way I did because I wanted blue flowers, just go ahead and just tap it on. Oh, I don't think I like this brown. Well, it could probably be good for like fall time, right? To have like little brown flowers for like the fall Halloween. Yeah, I might keep that one. And let's see. Here's like this green color. And see, like on this one, I just tapped it right in the middle and I didn't tap it enough and then it still left the outside yellow. So you could do that also. I mean, you just have to play around with it and see whichever way you like. Now I have one more color, so we might as well just test it on out. So let's see this one here. What color was this one? Oh, I think I like this blue better. Oh, see, see how the ink didn't get like over here in this part of the flower? I like that too. So it left like just a little bit. So it's like multicolored. You see where this one, I covered it completely in blue. 
Then like on this one too, I didn't completely cover it in green. So you can just kind of play around with it and see if you want to soak the whole thing in the ink color or just kind of like half-half. And these I think I left alone for maybe two hours max and they're already dry. None of the ink is coming off on my hands. So this was my little test run over here to see if it actually worked out. And I think it worked out very, very well. So it did change the color of the yellow and I think they look nice. You know, all that you have to do is play around with it. Like I said, add more ink or less ink. And then here are the new ones that we just did. I really love the blue flowers. Y'all know I'm a sucker for the blue flowers. So I'm definitely going to be painting more. This brown is looking kind of black already. It's very, very dark brown. But yeah, I mean, that's a great way. If you find this stuff on clearance, I would say snatch it all up. Snatch up as much as you can because you can definitely use this in many different ways. Like I said, you could color it or just cut it up and use it as the yellow. Hopefully, they'll come out with the blue on their own. Like, that would be amazing because y'all know I love my blue flowers. But for now, I could just go ahead and paint them and make my own blue flowers. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.